Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Light LX 2125BH. This is a great lightweight bunk model, perfect for the family. And even though there's not any slides, they did a good job of utilizing the space, making it a, ver a versatile camper by including a Murphy bed. So what you'll notice is you have the dinette over here, you have the Murphy bed up front giving you a sofa and a dinette in a smaller floor plan, and they still managed to give you the double over double rear bunks. Let's start off here on the dinette though. So one of the things I love about this is it is a campsite dinette, meaning it's on the side that you're setting up camp. So as you're sitting here having your morning coffee or your breakfast, you get a view out to your campsite, not out at your neighbors. Also, the dinette has enough room for four people here so everyone can enjoy a meal together or play a game together later at night. And it's nice and bright thanks to the LED lights you have throughout the entire RV. This does drop down into a smaller bed as well. You simply remove the legs here from the flanges in the floor as well as in the table. And then this table sits along the rails, take some back cushions, throw them on top. That will create the sleeping space. Now, it's not huge, so you know an adult will probably have to curl up a little bit, but it does make a great spot for a child. Or if you have a pack and play, you can put the pack and play on top of there as well. That way it elevates it off the ground, gets it out of the way. Right up top, you'll see your multimedia center right up here. This unit does control the speakers. It is also Bluetooth capable. So that way if you want to uh, hook up your smart device, your smartphone, tablet, whatever, it has the ability to do that. Some storage up top, kind of show you that real quick, see what you're working with. And then right over here to this side is where you would mount the TV if you want it. They have a backer right there. You can also see obviously electrical outlet, your uh, cable inlet right here, and then your antenna booster is there as well. Thermostat right back here. Now this only controls the heat. There is a roof mounted AC unit, but the controls for that are on that unit itself. And then right here in the back is that double over double rear bunks. You'll see that they're nice and big. So if you need to fit two kids per bunk, you can do that. You have a window on both the top and bottom, LED lights on the top and bottom too. And then right back here in the corner is the bathroom. Come on back, you'll see that uh, it's actually a pretty decent sized bathroom. When you sit down right here, I have enough leg room. You know, my toes do touch the front, but again, you know, it's still plenty of room. It's not like my knees are jammed up at all. I'm pretty wide in the shoulders. I have nothing over here, just a curtain to contend with here, which is obviously not an issue either. So plenty of room here on the foot flush lever toilet. Right next to me is a tub shower. I like having a tub in a bunk model. If you have little ones, you can still give them a bath. I'll step in here to give you an idea of height. So as you see, I'm six foot. I know I struggle a little bit on this one. I do have to bend over a little bit. So if you're a little bit shorter, you know, maybe uh, 5'10", something like that, you can probably stand up straight, but otherwise you probably have to bend down just a little bit. You have a hand wand here as well, though, to make showering up nice and easy. And honestly, you know, I try not to spend a ton of time in the shower when I'm camping anyway, so it can make do. You take a look at the countertop. You'll see that it does extend over, which is great. So if you, uh, you know, have some extra items you need to put up here, or just set like your curling iron down or something, you have the space in which you can do it. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top here. So that has storage behind it. You have the sink there and then a little bit of storage as well as access to plumbing underneath. Now, when we take a step out of the bathroom, you'll see right over here, you have this big additional storage area. So you know, this can be kind of a versatile space. You can put kids clothes in here if you want. You can use it as a linen closet with some of the towels for the bathroom. You can use it as a pantry, really kind of whatever you need uh, to make work, that space can take care of for you. Dometic fridge freezer combo. You have the stainless steel panels on the front. Taking a look in there, you'll see a cutout for some of your taller items. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Moving on to the rest of the kitchen, we'll start up top, kind of work our way down. So you have the microwave, the hood underneath, light and fan on there, a little bit of storage right next to that. When you drop down, you'll see that you have your LED light right under here, as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need a place to plug something in the kitchen, you can do that. Window here, double bowl sink. You'll notice that the sink is under mounted. They're able to do that because you have a solid surface countertop. It's a thermal form countertop on here. And so they're able to undermount that sink. It, not only does it give it a better look, but also you can get a sink top cover and kind of make this a flush countertop as well. You'll also see they recessed the two burner cooktop so you can utilize this as prep space. Fold that up and back, doubles as a backsplash and gives you access to those two burners. Now in lieu of an oven, they went with storage, which in a kitchen this size, I think it's what you have to do. You get two large full extension drawers, plenty of space for all of your flatware, other utensils, uh, towels, everything you need and then your direct vent furnace right underneath. 
we take a look under the sink, you'll see you have some additional storage there for pots and pans or anything else, again, that you need to store in there. And then if we take a look at the very front, so this is kind of a make it or break it for a lot of people, the Murphy bed. Uh, I'll show you how it sets up. It's actually pretty easy to set up and tear down. And the kind of the basis of it, and as I mentioned, the reason you get a Murphy bed is in, in a smaller floor plan like this. Normally this would just all be bed. But with the Murphy bed, you get this sofa here, making it a much more livable space during the day. So it is a, uh, a comfortable jackknife sofa here. You have removable armrests on the side. You know, they're nothing super fancy. It's basically just a cylinder that they, they wrap some material over, but it works, it does the job. And in the center here, you can drop the center console down, some cup holders there. But this way it kind of makes like a pseudo theater seating and you have a good shot to the TV. So if it's just the two of you, you want to sit back and relax. This gives you somewhere else to sit other than just right in the dinette. Now, because it is a jackknife sofa, you can see all the storage that you get underneath. You can certainly appreciate that for some of your larger items. And to make up the Murphy bed, you go just like this. You uh, essentially drop the jackknife sofa down. You remove the armrests just like so. As I said, you know, they're pretty simple. I'll just set them aside for right now here. And then we have two locks right up here. You'll want to make sure you undo both sides. So you kind of lift that up. And when it's when it's down like this, it's locked in place. So what you want to do is you actually just kind of lift it up like so, like that, and that will allow you to then slide that in or out. Once you have it dropped down, you have the trifold mattress right here. You just lay that down. Uh, it's not going to open up very well because it is in the bag here, but that's all you'd normally do. Put your, uh, your comforter and your sheets and stuff on there and you're good to go. You'll also see that you have a couple lights back here for reading. You also have this nice accent wall, kind of gives it a rustic look. And as you'd expect, you have wardrobes on both sides, so you have some hanging space, and electrical outlets right underneath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light LX 2125VH. Right up front here is your powered tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle, because all you have to do is flip the rocker switch to raise or lower the tongue. You'll also see there's a light right up front for added visibility at night. Directly behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover, and a little bit further back there is your uh, battery. You can see the rails, so you can fit two batteries on there if you want. Coming up the front, you have the diamond etched plating here, helping protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you'll also notice this sticker that shows this Coleman has a three-year structural warranty, which is currently the best in the industry. Coming around to this side is solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and you can trickle charge your battery. You have the pass-through right next to that, and then the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You'll notice a couple things. One is that it covers pretty much the entire length of the RV here. There's also an LED light strip there. And if you notice, underneath, you don't have any vents on this side. So all of this is great usable camp space. To get into the RV, you have two foldable steps and the grab handle right here for some added control. Right here in the back, you have your dual electrical outlet. And next to that is the outside kitchen. You'll see you have a covered hinge on here so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is magnetic and you have slam latches. When we open that up, you'll see the RV refrigerator for condiments and beverages. Shelf right up top, perfect for some you know plates and cups, things like that. And then you have this pull-out prep surface, as well as the uh, faucet here with the wash basin. Now, it's not plumbed, but it's nice and easy. Fill it up with water, you just dump it out. Works pretty well, and that does obviously have hot and cold access. Now, as far as actual cooking, if you take a look right here in the back, you'll see you have a swing arm mount for a grill. So you just swing that out, you can cook right there, and again, you have access to everything else you need. Uh, it does have a propane quick connect right underneath here. You can see that. So that's where you'll plug your grill into. The grill is mounted to your square tubular bumper. It does have end caps, so that way you can store your sewer hose in there. Myself, I'd probably store it on the other side, so it's not near my grill, but that's just me. Uh, you'll also see that you have your spare tire mounted back here as well. Hopefully you never have to use it, but the great thing about having it here is it's one of the easiest places to get to it. You don't have to get down your hands and knees or underneath the trailer uh, to get to your spare. If you take a look right there at the top center, you'll see this one also has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning that it'll save you money on labor. The off-door side, right down here is the termination. Both your black and gray tank valves are located there. You'll see your city water inlet right up from there. Cable inlet over here to the side. 
Freshwater inlets will be a little bit more forward and a little bit further up yet is your 30 amp power cord. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Light LX 2125BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker. Let's go camping.